Hi guys, I'm Kat from the Mind Trekkers, and today I'm going to show you a cool STEM activity that you can try at home. This demo is called Faraday Cage, and all you're going to need to do it is a metal oil splash guard, a mesh strainer, and a radio. So, when I turn on the radio, let's see. Oh, that's a good channel. But, so all you're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the splash guard and then put the mesh strainer on top. And as you can see, when I put the mesh strainer on top, the radio stops working. All I can hear is static. Now why is that? So Faraday Cage is named after Michael Faraday, a scientist who studied electromagnetism and electromagnetic waves. Now I know electromagnetic waves sound a little bit scary, but I promise you see it every day. An example of electromagnetic waves is visible light. Other examples include x-ray, microwaves, yes, the kind that heat up your food, and radio waves. So why does this work? Well, a Faraday cage only lets really small electromagnetic waves pass through, like light. That's why you can still see my hand through the strainer. But radio waves are really, really big, and what happens is when they hit the Faraday cage, they get redirected through the metal and around the radio. It means the radio waves can't get to the radio. And if the radio waves can't get to the radio, radio doesn't work. Now to prove that we're not just using any random material that we just found around the house and it's those blocking the radio waves, I'm going to have my friend here, Chompers, to help us out. Now, Chompers is made out of polyester, and polyester is not a conductive material, so when... Let's turn on the radio. So, when I put Chompers on top of the radio, the radio is kind of muffled, but it's not staticky like when I put the mesh strainer on it. So where can you find examples of Faraday cages in real life? Well, if you've ever been in an elevator, you might notice that your phone doesn't work. That's because the phone signal can't get through the elevator, which is just a big metal box. Other examples include rooms that have MRIs in them. These rooms are designed like Faraday cages to make sure that the machine doesn't pick up outside electromagnetic interference. Another example that you might see every day in your own home are microwaves. If you've ever looked at a microwave door, you'll notice that it's got a metal screen with a bunch of little holes on it. Kind of like a mesh strainer. Do you know of any other examples of Faraday cages that you might find in real life? Comment down below. And if you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to be coming out with a lot more videos with cool STEM activities that you can try at home. And while you're at it, check us out on our other social media. We've got Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. And if you're a teacher or just want to follow along with our demos, uh, we have all of our lesson plans on our website, mtu.edu slash mindtrackers. Links are going to be down in the description below.